Thanks, lads. And a reminder at this point that uh, the uh, second leg of the Sheffield Wednesday. O'Brien with a tackle, but Villa come out. Richardson will try and cause the problem again for Nixon with a good ball in. And it's a goal! Sean Teal, 2 0. Another terrific goal, Alan. What quality crosses. That's what led to the two goals. Very, very difficult to defend this ball. But nevertheless, a very, very brave finish from Teal, who just threw himself in there. What's the quality of this ball? Keeper can't come, defenders can't defend it. And a terrific, brave diving header. Suddenly, the Twin Towers don't seem so far away for the Villa fans and the Villa players. Sean Teal with that brave diving header. Himself born in Southport. Defeat. Incredible, and you're going to get people saying maybe he shouldn't be on the pitch, but let's forget that. He made some great saves in that penalty shootout. I feel very sorry for Tranmere and Johnny King, but whoever gets through from this, they've, they've earned the right to be a penalty, and well done, Aston Villa. An amazing finish, but as Kevin Keegan has quite rightly pointed out, when all the hullabaloo has died down and the post-mortems are carried out, some people, and I'm certain a lot of them from Merseyside, will say, should Bosnic have even been in a position to save those penalties? Anyway, he did. with the free kick. Palace scorer, Keane's going to take it. Teal with the header. The final whistle's gone. It's Aston Villa who've won it. And the treble is no more. The possibility has gone out of the window here at uh, Wembley tonight. And now lifts up the Coca-Cola Cup for Aston Villa. Villa the winners. Had destroyed him, having left him free without a man-to-man -man marker. He would have been criticised, but it's worked for him on the day. They broke.